Hey everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all Batman games for the Nintendo GameCube. Batman Vengeance would have been a very good game if not for the controls and the camera. This combination makes a very good game into a frustrating experience. Even if the first levels of the game will seem good, later on the unresponsive controls and the bad camera angles will get to you. The combat is enjoying, until multiple enemies attack you and the camera and controls go bonkers. But aside the controls and camera that follow you throughout the whole playthrough, the game is pretty good. It has a lot of platforming, you get fist fights, you can use battle ranks and other gadgets, you get boss fights, puzzles and you even see vehicles like the Batmobile. So on paper, the game formula is dense. Also the game nails the atmosphere, with good music, great cutscenes and nice story. Too bad that the controls and camera gets to you, because in rest it would have been a very good game. Batman Dark Tomorrow is a truly bad game. The controls are bad, the combat is bad, for example during combat you have to handcuff any enemy or else they get up. And it sounds easy and okay, but if you have 5 guys beaten up, you handcuff one, and then the rest of them get up. You beat them again, you handcuff one, and then the rest get up again, as you can, as it takes time to handcuff one guy. And seeing the animation over and over again, it's annoying. And it's very tedious. Also, the use of the bad gadgets is annoying too. For example, if you want to use your grapple, you have to leap off faith off a ledge and pray to attach to something and not fall. And if you want to use the batarang, you remain still and have to aim, and this leaves plenty of room for enemies to strike. And the camera angles are again horrible. Also the game takes forever to load, and not only this, but it loads frequent too. Everything in the game works incredibly wrong. There are more flaws that I could list in such a short video. Don't play the game. Batman Rise of Sinso is the first good game from this list. It's a beat em up. That's about it. No platforming, no puzzles, you just beat every enemy on screen and proceed to the next wave of enemies. And the formula works. You have a punch button, a kick button and you get many different sorts of combo moves. The time limit will be a bummer if you play on higher difficulties as you can't beat up all the enemies in time, but if you play on lower difficulties the game is nice, except for the end boss. When you get to Sinsu, you will have a hard time. This boss is so difficult you will want to cry. Also you can play with 4 different characters, Batman, Robin, Batgirl and Nightwing. The game will be atrociously difficult at the final boss, but in rest, it's a good beat em up. And Batman Begins is also a decent experience. The best part about the game are the graphics, which are gorgeous in many occasions. Also the stealth part of the game is awesome. Basically you have to sneak up on enemies and scare them. And you get many different animations when you scare them. And also the Batman scenes are awesome. The parts where dialogue appears. The only bad part about the game is the combat, which is clunky, feels imprecise and ruins the great stealth parts of the game. Also the animations aren't that great either. But you also get some Batmobile levels which look amazing and add enjoyment to the gameplay. It's a decent experience, but considering that it's a tie-in game and usually tie-ins end up badly, this game is really good. Ok so this was the video, if you liked it please hit the like button and subscribe, if you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button and choose one of the perks. If you want you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord, I've left the links to those in the video description and if you want to see another video of mine just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.